Okay, hello, Scorpions. My Scorpios, how you doing? I hope you guys are having a blessed, great, safe Sunday. All right, um, this is your four in one reading, four readings in one, along with two messages. Okay, so when you get to the end of the reading, do not hang up, do not cut off. Because you may dearly need to hear a message. You may dearly need to hear whatever message comes out. Okay, so stay, stay on. You know, listen to the message as well. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, join. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. All right, so subscribe. Thank you much. Thank you for stopping by even checking me out. All right. Okay. So, also, don't forget to check out my description box below. Click on that Fits Benefits site whenever you get a chance as well. Check it out. If the link below doesn't work, go to my main channel and click on the link. It will take you straight to the website, all right? Okay, so let me get some cards to drop and we'll begin your four-in-one reading, okay? Four readings in one, all right? I hope you guys can gain some insight on something you need to see to help you in this situation, all right? Give you clarity on the situation. Okay, Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's. Scorpio's energy. Okay. Somebody may be stuck like chuck or feeling stuck like chuck in the situation all right so we have the three of pentacles Taurus, virgo capricorn energy the nine of wands sag leo aries energy uh the page of wands aries energy the emperor is here aries okay it don't have to be an aries but okay i'm six of swords gemini libra aquarius energy Ten of Cups. Okay, Water. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Energy. So those are the cards I have. Three of Pentacles. Somebody's wanting to work on a partnership. A stability with you. All right, this somebody that took you through a mental and physical struggle. Somebody took you through it. All right. Okay, um, you seen this person is immature. The communication between you and this person was off balance, immature. All right, um... Somebody could have a lot on their plate. Um, now they're an emperor, okay? Or they see you as the emperor, and they have a lot on their plate. So that's why they're coming back, wanting to work on a partnership of stability, because they see you being successful, strong, independent, all right? Um, you could be an entrepreneur. You could be a retiree, a veteran, or, you know, some kind of supervisor, they see you being successful, whatever it is you do. This person could be bossy and controlling, manifesting what they want with you, willing what they want with you. If they don't get it, they're going to do whatever it takes to get what they want. All right? Okay? To keep you from moving to better waters. Because maybe you want to move away from this person, move to better waters. And they're going to do whatever they can to keep that from happening. Because they want to work on a partnership of stability with you. Okay? All right. Um, and yeah, they want a success. This person could be working on their inner self as well. If they if they have to do that, they're gonna work on their self, do some fixing on them in their inner selves. Um, like if they have addictions or you see them having addictions, they're gonna work on those addictions just to get move forward to better waters with you. Okay. Um, Ten of Cups. They want the, a family dynamic with you, this person, or they don't want to lose the Ten of Cups that they have with you. It's either one, okay? So that's what I have right there. Moving on. Okay. Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy. Okay. Wow. Okay. Somebody running? Somebody trying to slide out the back door on you? Or somebody's running from a situation? Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is here. Um, the Hermit is here. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Hermit is here. Aries, Aquarius, or Pisces energy. 
Two of Wands is here, Sag Leo Aries energy. We have the Nine of Cups, Water, Pisces Scorpio Cancer energy, the Sun card, Leo energy here. Okay, the Ace of Swords is here, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Okay, so somebody finds you very nurturing. Okay, they find you very nurturing. That has them want stability with you. They find you very highly attractive. Okay, um, very creative. They see you being very secure and stable within yourself, okay? And this has them wanting stability with you. Um, the hermit is here. Maybe you've been isolating yourself from this person, okay? So maybe your intuition has been showing you some things concerning this person. You've been isolating yourself, maybe trying to get some guidance, some wisdom concerning this person, whether you should move forward or not. You're trying to make a choice, a decision to a wand. So you've been isolating yourself from this person. They've been seeing you isolating yourself. They're trying to figure out why. Okay? You're trying to make a choice. You're trying to make it come to a decision on what to do concerning them. Right? Maybe it's somebody else. Okay? Or maybe you're trying to make a choice whether to move out or, um, yeah, move away from this person or choose it between them and somebody else. Okay? Um, Nine of Cups is here. And this person, you make this person feel real good. You, they're trying to hold on. They're not trying to let you go. You make this person feel very victorious. Where it's areas where they don't feel good about themselves, you make them feel good about themselves. Okay, so that's why they hold on to you. They're trying. They're not trying to let you go. Um, Scorpio, the Sun card is here. Leo energy. Okay, you make this person happy. They're happy with you. But you could be try tired of going through some type of cycles with them. There's something maybe going on with you and them. And you're tired of going through the same cycle with this person. All right. Um, but they are trying to gain clarity on how to get a successful new beginning off the ground with you. Okay. So that's what's going on with this person. Okay. So I'm moving on. And Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energies. Scorpio's energies, please. Show me more of Scorpio's energies, please. Okay. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Three of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So strong air. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth energy. We have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Pisces in the house. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, Water, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, King of Swords, Libra, Libra energy. Okay, more Libra, Justice. This is Libra as well. So we have strong Libra, yeah, strong Libra, air, that could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this represents the Libra, okay? So, ooh, there's somebody you can't trust, there's, there's, or is somebody deceiving you, or this already happened, somebody did deceive you, so you separated your per yourself from this person, they could have stole something from you, okay, as well, all right, they broke your heart, they stole your heart, this person broke your heart, they hurt you, they saddened you, so you separate yourself from this person. They're coming back. This person could have put you in a third party. Um, they're coming back, though. They're coming back for your attention, your time, and stability. They want the stability back with you, the attention. And, um, yeah, they want everything back from you that was lost. The Knight of Cups, they love you. This person's coming in to express love to you. Um, there's nothing else like you. This person could have had a lot of options on you. Like I said, they could have put you in a third party situation. It was dealing with a lot of other options. Well, them options are poo -poo, downhill. There's no other like you. None of them options compared to you, um, Scorpio. None of them. None of them options compared to you. All right. Um, they're coming in and they're going to speak some truth. They're going to express their love to you. All right, because they want this victory. They're coming in for a victory. All right. Okay, this person no longer wants to be separated from you. Okay, that's what I have right there, Scorpio. Um, Scorpio's energy, please. 
Let me Scorpio's energies. Let me Scorpio's energies, please. More Scorpio. Okay, wow. Okay. Ooh, something coming at you real fast. Um, the magician is here. Aries energy. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is here. Virgo energy. King of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Um, the High Priestess is here. Virgo or Pisces energy. Uh, we have the Ten of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Five of Wands here. Sag Leo, Aries energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Seven of Wands here. Sag Leo, Aries energy. Then we have the Lovers, Gemini energy. Okay. So somebody's manifesting you, plain and simple. Aries energy. Somebody's carrying an Aries energy or it's an Aries. They're manifesting you. They got the tools to do so. Okay. Or somebody could be seeing you as a manifester. You could have Aries in your chart or you just care. They see you getting everything you want. They see you being abundant. Yep. That's what it is. They see you being abundant. They see you growing successfully, nurturing yourself. They see you becoming beautiful. They see, you know, Look, you wear luxurious things. Okay. Um, did I say creative? They see you being creative. They see you being stable, strong. You know, whatever you're working on, it's growing. It's becoming abundant. I mean, it's it's giving you abundance. They're seeing you stand strong in the Capricorn energy. They see you being stable. They see you, um, they may um see you, your finances, you know, being great. Uh, they may be seeing you spending money, being able to spend money, you know, just being very secure, stable, strong, successful. That's what that card is, the King of Pentacles. The High Priestess is here. This person can also see you being very intuitive. Maybe you're a tarot reader. Maybe they see you being successful and being a tarot reader. Somebody could be a High Priestess. Maybe they see you being successful and being a High Priestess. All right, and they, they're silent about this. They're not expressing this to you that they see you in this light. Okay, they're keeping it to themselves, but at the same time, they watch you. They're watching you. All right, this could be somebody that betrayed you in the past, and they could be manifesting you at the same time because they see you being great at what you're doing. They see you growing abundantly, so they could be manifesting you as well, and it could be an Aries, but this could be somebody that betrayed you, hurt you in the past. All right. Um, five of Wands. They could see you having a lot of competition, or there could have been a lot of um arguing between you and this person in the past. Where now also this person used to could have used to be confused about what they wanted with you in the past. And you know, they're coming back now, manifesting you. But they see that that they may have to fight for you. They may see that they have to compete for you, all right? So they're sitting here contemplating, thinking, looking at options on how to win, win you over, win you back, okay? You could be fending them off. You could have them blocked, okay? So they're trying to figure out how to get you to let your guard down to stop blocking them or stop fending them off, okay? This person has fell in love with you. Okay, watching you be abundant, growing, or they were always in love with you and they hid it. And they caused a lot of confusion in the relationship between you and them if you were in a relationship with them in the past. They caused a lot of drama and confusion where they betrayed you in the past, knowing darn well that they loved, they were in love with you. And if not, this person has fallen in love with you, watching you be independent, strong, not need no help from anybody, okay? Um, they may feel like um, they're divinely meant to be with you, or they always felt like this, that you were their divine partner and just fought it off. They might have fought it off. They might have had them internally conflicted as well, right? And they may feel you calling on them, your soul calling on them, like, you're mine, you belong to me. They feel it. They feel it. Okay. So this has this person in love with you. They're in love with you. And they want you to quit fending them off. Or they used to fend you off in the past. Knowing darn well, like I said, they was in love with you. 
now it's hitting them. It, it's hitting them. Like I said, something's coming fast. It's hitting them, hitting them in the butt. They have all these feelings for you, watching you. You know, probably having regrets. Like, dang, I let that go. You know, now they're doing this. Now they're being successful at this. And I let that go. Now they're trying to manifest you back. Because they're in love with you. All right? They see you manifesting. You get what you want. You get everything you want. Being secure, stable. All right? So that's that's your four and one reading. So now we're going to get to your message. Okay. So Scorpio. So what messages do you have for Scorpio? Show me messages. Okay. Wow. Hey, Scorpio. Let's see what this message is. Okay, so this is Sag Leo Aries energy here. The clouds. Okay, then we have deer. Okay, water energy. Pisces Scorpio Cancer energy. Then we have more fire, more Sag Leo Aries energy. Okay. Okay, messenger here. Okay, we have the four-leaf clover. And that is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Then we have the fox here. That's Leo, Aries energy. Then we have access, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there's a situation where you're needing, your, your intuition is clouded. All right, there's a message trying to get into you. Where your intuition is clouded, then you may need to make some change. Um, your intuition may be telling you there's something you need to make some change. You need to make movement, or you need to move, make movement, start moving towards something. All right, it's transition involved. A change has to come. And your intuition is trying to tell you that change is needed in a situation. All right, yeah, you're getting messages through your intuition. Okay, yeah, communication. Messages are coming to you. All right. Um, maybe somebody in person is telling you this. Coming to you, confirming this message. And you may not be listening. Luck is on your side. Listen. Everything, whatever it is, is everything going to go in your favor? You might need to move away from something. Move away from a situation. Somebody might be gossiping about you. Anything. Okay. Yeah, so it's something that you need to make movement on. You need to change something. But it's going to be in your favor. You may be fear moving, moving on from a situation. You may fear moving on, but you need to move on from a situation. You need to make change. And you're fearing it. But luck is on your side. You have the four-leaf clover, okay? You're going to be okay. All right. Somebody, oh, the other two. Yeah, somebody's deceiving you. Somebody's being sneaky. Somebody could be stealing from you. You know, a fire sign, Sag Leo Aries energy behind your back. And your intuition is trying to give you access to what you need to see. And you need to pay attention to it. Open your intuition and let it see so you can gain access to who is deceiving you. Who is sneaky behind your back. Okay? Who is, okay, so that, that, there it go right there. You're being told. Plain, cut, simple. All right, so let's see what other message. One more message. Okay, show me messages that you have for Scorpios, please. And show me messages that you have for Scorpios. And show me what messages you have for Scorpios. Okay. Messages that you have for Scorpios. Okay. That's it right there. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, so we have the card of sudden wealth. Good card to have. We have pathway here. Okay, we have imprisonment. And then we have coffin here. Okay, so um, there's some sudden wealth going to come into you from something that divinely took place, divine timing. Some, Yeah. And this may have you stuck. You may feel stuck mentally because it may have you depressed or something like that. Um, it could be a passing. My condolences. 
But there's a sudden wealth going to come behind this. And this was divine timing. Um, this may be a gift from the divine from you, some sudden wealth coming in. And this is going to have you in a mentally stuck uh, place where you may be depressed. Okay, you may be have a hard time moving forward from this situation. Mm. Or somebody could be locked up that you're going to hear passed away. Maybe you have a friend or family member that's locked away. And um, you're going to find out that somebody asked. Okay, so that's what I have. Sorry, my condolences. Okay. Um, if this already happened, um, but like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Join if you'd like to be a member of my channel. Um, you guys, I hope you gain some insight on something you need to help through, you know, to help you in this situation. Also, don't forget to check out the Fist Benefits site, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed um, week ahead. All right.